The Hadza are one of the last remaining hunter-gatherer societies in the world, living around Lake Iasi in northern Tanzania. They are not known to have been part of any kingdoms, empires, or state-level societies. Instead, they have maintained an independent lifestyle for tens of thousands of years. Historically, the Hadza had no chiefs, kings, or formal leaders. Their society is strongly egalitarian. Archaeological and genetic evidence suggests the Hadza descend from extremely ancient East African populations, potentially preserving cultural and linguistic features from some of the earliest human societies. Their way of life persisted largely because they lived in harsh, marginal environments that agricultural groups found difficult to settle. Physically, the Hadza tend to be slim and lightly built, reflecting a high-activity hunter-gatherer lifestyle and a diet based on game, tubers, baobab fruit, and seasonal honey. Their average height is generally around 5 feet 3 for men and slightly shorter for women, though individuals vary widely. Studies show that Hadza adults typically have low body fat percentages, high endurance, and physical leanness due to daily walking, climbing, hunting, and foraging. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of two Hadza men from the Reichlab Adder V62 Plus HO dataset. I used multiple tools to analyze their genetics, including AdmixTools 1, Trait Predictor, BetaCalc, and MagePlot. According to FST analysis, the closest population to the Hadza are Bantu populations, such as the East African Kikuyu and West African Congo. The Hadza are very distant from such African populations as the Mbuti, Juhon, and Komani San of South Africa. The Eurasian group closest to them is the Russians, and the closest East Asian group to them is the Han. The Australians and Papuans are the most distant human groups from them. The Hadza carry some minor archaic hominid admixture, about 2.2% according to this model. Let's move on to their trait predictor results. We will start with Bar 13. Bar 13 was predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, darkest brown skin, kinky hair, and snub nose shape. Bar 13 was predicted to be lactose intolerant, to have lower empathy, higher risk of cardiovascular disease, higher IQ, lower risk of testicular cancer, elevated homocysteine levels, no blue-yellow color blindness risk variants, lower odds of obesity, and likely blood type A or B. With BetaCalc, he scored particularly high for odds of alcoholism, asthma, autism, dermatitis, esophageal cancer, heart disease, hypertension, lung cancer, Parkinson's disease, prostate cancer, schizophrenia, and stroke. He scored particularly low for odds of anxiety disorder, bipolar disorder type 1, breast cancer, depression, heart attack, mental disorder, obesity, ovarian cancer, and skin cancer. Now let's move on to N08. Also a male. He was predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, darkest brown skin, kinky hair, and a Greek nose shape. He was heterozygous for the LCT variant associated with lactose persistence, had had higher empathy, intermediate cardiovascular risks, lower risk of leukemia, lower homocysteine levels, no blue-yellow colorblindness risk variants, lower odds of obesity, and likely blood type A or B. With BetaCalc, N08 scored particularly high for odds of alcoholism, asthma, autism, colorectal cancer, dermatitis, hypertension, lung cancer, Parkinson's disease, prostate cancer, skin cancer, and type 2 diabetes. He scored particularly low for odds of anxiety disorder, bipolar type 1, breast cancer, coronary artery disease, depression, heart attack, mental disorders, obesity, ovarian cancer, schizophrenia, and type 1 diabetes. You can purchase both samples in 23 and B format from the link in the description of the video.